Windows 7 includes a built-in Internet browser called Internet Explorer. Let's open up Internet Explorer and take a look at some of the features it includes. By default, Internet Explorer will be pinned to the taskbar for quick access. Click on it once to open it. If you remove the Internet Explorer icon, just go to Start, All Programs, and then go to Internet Explorer, which should be near the top of the list. The first thing that you may notice about the new Internet Explorer is how much less stuff there is on the browser. In order to improve the performance of the browser, Microsoft has removed some of the clutter that previous versions had. You may notice that many of the buttons and the links are missing, such as favorites, tools, and pages. While the buttons are still there, they just have a different look. For example, the star now replaces the favorites button and the gear replaces the tools link. When I click on the star, it displays the favorites just like before. The tools menu is slightly different because print, file, zoom, and safety are now hiding in here. In the new edition of the browser, the built-in search engine has been moved and is now included in the address bar at the top. So I could either type in the exact address, such as www.microsoft.com, or I can type in the search query right into the address bar. For example, I'm going to do a search for Windows 7. When I did that, the browser opened up the default search engine, in this case Bing, and performed a search. I will show you how to change the default search engine in an upcoming video. We will also take a look at how to change some of the settings, such as the home page, and how to add toolbars.